All right, guys, so you've probably been seeing a ton of these AI models kind of taking over online, showing up on Instagram, showing up on various social media platforms, but also in the news about how much money they're making. And you might be wondering, how the heck do you go about making an AI model? There's so many different AI software suites out there nowadays, and it can be really daunting trying to figure out how to make one of these. And look, you guys know me on my channel, I like making money. So I thought, hey, let's just explore it and see if we can put one together. So I tried a bunch of different methods. I tried Midjourney, which I thought was a little soft. It looked a little weird. And then I finally found a method that actually is super easy to do. It uses three pieces of software to do it. So it's not just one single software suite, but when you combine all three, it creates really realistic results. And to test my theory, I put together an Instagram and it actually started gaining a lot of followers and a lot of momentum. And I think there's something really here. The thing is, this isn't really a business that I actually wanna be in. I just wanted to test it because you never know when this could come in handy. Like I'm in real estate, you know, maybe she could be a digital agent for me in the future, or maybe I could use her for marketing somewhere. But I just wanted to see if I could actually build a realistic AI model that people would think is real until I officially disclose that she's not real. But in the early days of the Instagram, people actually thought she was legit. Now I haven't posted anything for her in a while, but I just wanna show you guys that it's super easy to do this. And I'm gonna walk you through all the steps right here, right now, so let's dive in. All right guys, so like I talked about earlier, this is Mid Journey. This is not what I'm going to use today. I just wanted to touch on this because this is a super popular platform that a lot of people use to make various AI models. When I tested it, here, here are some examples of ones that I created. And while the teeth and the face overall are really good compared to what I'm gonna show you next, the skin and just the softness of the image just doesn't seem very real to me. It just seems a little computer generated compared to, here are some other examples of ones that I created using what I'm about to show you, where it just looks a little bit more real, the skin tones, the texture of the image, everything else just feels a lot more realistic compared to Mid Journey. Here it is side by side. So I just wanted to show you that before we actually dive in, but with that out of the way, let me show you exactly my step-by-step -step process of how I create her. Okay, so you're gonna wanna come over to Leonardo AI. This is the platform that I use for the base of the build. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to either get started or launch the app. If you've never signed up before, then you're definitely gonna wanna get started. You can start with a free trial, but it is a paid subscription once you actually wanna start building them. Um, so if you have the paid version, then go to launch app. And once the app launches, you'll be in this um, area, which is where you create the images. So what you do is you come over to image creation and it'll pull up all of your past generations, which you can see down here. I was testing out some travel photography just to see how it would look. You really you want to come up with a very specific seed. You don't want to just say Instagram model. You want to be like blonde 20 year old woman in yoga clothes at the gym, okay? And then you'd click generate. Or you could do blonde Instagram woman in bikini. Or you could do it in work clothes if you're trying to do something more formal. But anyway, you can kind of play around with the different seeds. And over here on the left are a bunch of different settings that you can apply. Obviously with Instagram, you're gonna want more of a two, three. So make sure that that's turned on. You want the quality to usually be checked unless you're trying to just generate a lot of quick ones to kind of try out. And then for the style, um, stock photo is good. For the contrast, medium is good. And then usually I try and generate at least four, if not eight images at once. And then in additional settings, make sure that photo reel is turned on. And again, this is a premium feature, so you are gonna have to have the paid version in order to turn that on. So you won't be able to do it during the trial. But so if you're just doing this on trial, don't have this turned on. But if you're if you're actually doing this where you want to create real imagery, then you're definitely gonna want to turn on photo reel. And you can do multiple people in the same photo at once. But look, so here's here was the script: beautiful blonde, lean, 20-year-old Instagram model. Okay, and this is what it generated. Here are a couple more examples. Set in Miami. And they're all pretty good. I mean, this one looks really good. Um, the face needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This one was a blonde, lean, 20-year-old Instagram model on a private plane. You can see it has some issues with the wording, <laughs> as most AI does, and hands are usually messed up too. So you usually try and find a photo without hands involved because it's usually not done properly. You can see it can do multiple people at once, but overall pretty good. You might be noticing though one common theme, and that is teeth and faces 
are not completely correct. You see how the eyes are a little bit distorted. You can see down here, the mouth is a little bit distorted. So the second part to this, there's, remember there's three parts. The second part to this is we're gonna fix this using a really cool free software program not a lot of people know about. Okay, so for the purpose of this next part, so here's more of kind of a business focused one, but as you can see, like the eyes are a little bit messed up and then the mouth is a little bit crooked. Overall, not terrible, but you know, th this is definitely more of a formal image, which would be good for, you know, if she's in real estate or something like that. And then this one is a little bit more seductive, but you can see the teeth are not exactly all that great. And then the eyes are still a little bit messed up here. So I'm gonna show you how to fix these. And honestly, the hands came out decent. I mean, this one's a little bit messed up, but overall for a normal AI image, the hands are decent. Um, anyway, so let me show you how to fix these because it's really cool. So what you wanna do is come to this random Chinese website. Um, it's arc dot tencent.com. I'll link it down in the description below. And what it does is it fixes grainy or out of focus or weird AI images. So it's basically under the face restoration tab. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upload. So we'll start with the more seductive looking one, which is the one where her teeth were kind of messed up. Okay. So it may look faint, but let me go ahead and download this and I'll show you guys the before and after. Okay. So here's the before and after you see on the left, it's the before. And then on the right, it's the after. And there are slight differences in the face region of the photo that have been fixed, but it's almost overcorrected. Now let's go back and let's upload the second image. But again, it's a little bit too soft. So the third step to this process is blending the two together to create the perfect image. And that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so we're actually gonna use Photoshop. You can also use Canva or really any other photo editing app. I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. You don't have to have Photoshop to do it, but I'm gonna show you what I've found to be the easiest way to actually fix them. So after you've, so so this image right here is the AI original download from Leonardo AI. And what I'm gonna do is drop on top the fixed version, okay? So now if I turn it on and off, you can see just how much the software changed. If I zoom into her face a bit, so here's the corrected and here's the original. You can see how much better the eyes are the lips are a little bit better, and even the nose was fixed a little bit. So we wanna retain all that, but the problem is it's a little too soft. I mean, this looks very airbrushed, this looks very AI, okay? Whereas the original texture of the image, if I turn it off again, was really good. The skin looks good, it's got actual texture, shoulders look good. So that's what we want to retain. Now, we could just do a simple opacity change, and sure, that helps, but we're not gonna do just that. So we're gonna actually drop the opacity to about 80%, okay? Which you can do, again, on pretty much any editing software. Then we're gonna come over to the eraser and we're basically gonna make it about this big, okay? And you wanna make sure with the eraser that the hardness is about half because that's gonna give you the soft edges that we want. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically erase away everything that's not part of the face. So as you can see, see the neck coming back in, the shoulders coming back in. And the goal here is to again, erase everything but the neck for now, okay? And you don't wanna just delete out the rest of it, you wanna do it with the eraser because it's gonna make a much more blended appearance. So as you can see here, as we're getting closer to the hair, you can start to see more detail coming back, okay? You can see it literally changing right there. See the hair? Because the, the Leonardo AI is better at the texture, but the Chinese website's better at fixing the face. So we're blending the two. So right there, I mean, that's already pretty good. So we've got the skin tones back. We've got the skin texture back. It's pretty good. It looks like she just has kind of like an airbrush face, but that's still a little too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the opacity of the eraser down to like a 20, 25. Then we're gonna drop the size down a little bit as well. And now we're gonna remove some of it on face. Starts to really bring in the face details and some of just the texture that was missing. But we've kept the eyes from the fix and the lips. So if I turn it on and off, you can see 
how much better it looks now. Again, not that it was super bad before, but I think that the Chinese website just really fixes kind of that AI look that it has on the initial download. Okay, so now let's edit this one. Same process. So we've got the original image from Leonardo AI. You can see that the teeth and the eyes are a little bit messed up. See how much more detail was added back and how much more balanced everything looks. So what we're gonna do is the same thing. Start with the eraser. And again, if the, if the top layer isn't rasterized, you're gonna wanna do that. Um, it'll be different in each software program. But basically, we're gonna start erasing the areas that are not her face. Be sure to bring all the texture back. The background's already blurry, so you don't have to worry about it too much, especially if you miss some spots. But as you get closer to the face, that's where you wanna be a little bit more thorough and a little bit more detailed. You can see the neck coming back in, go over the hair and ears, get all that back. Because again, on the original render, that was all pretty good. It's really just the eyes and the mouth that we're fixing with that Chinese software. If you can see, before and after. Okay, and then as a reminder, then we drop down the size of the brush a little bit, take it down to like, you know, a blend mode of like 20 or opacity of 20. If you're on pretty much any editing software, you should be able to do this pretty easily. We're gonna bring back in the skin details. You can see how much detail was just added right here. And now you can see how much better the face is. So there's the before and there's the after. Before, after, before, after. So pretty amazing. Okay, so now that we have those, again, in any, in any editing software, you're just gonna wanna basically flatten the image and then save it. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for future content and additional money-making videos. I have a lot of content on my channel, including stock photography, which also uses AI imagery. So if you're curious about that, definitely go watch this video next. You'll get to see exactly how much I'm making through stock photography and what my portfolio looks like. So go check out that video next. Um, but anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.